What up guys, I'll make this short and sweet. Today, we got one of the funniest dudes that I know. One of the funniest dudes I definitely follow on Twitter. Hilarious dude, he makes great content on YouTube. He dwells more around the Madden range where he does rebuilds and cool stuff like that. Even as a guy who doesn't watch a lot of Madden stuff, I still love watching his stuff, mostly because what he's doing is really interesting and he's just a funny dude and knows how to create entertaining YouTube com uh, content. I've learned a lot from watching his videos and um, the cool thing about this today is that I don't know a lot about him in general because I've only met him a couple of times but we were both really interested in doing this video together and bringing something to you guys that we thought could be really interesting. Um, I plan on asking him a lot about how he creates content, how he interacts with a lot of these people so without babbling for too long I'm going to be playing my boy Bengal and we're going to be asking him some questions. If you don't sub to him on YouTube, I suggest you go and check out his stuff. I think you'll really like it, regardless if you like Madden or not, because he does a lot of funny stuff, and overall the videos are really entertaining. Um, I also suggest that you follow him on Twitter because he's hilarious. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, I'm gonna have all his stuff uh, in the description below, so it'll be really easy for you guys to go check him out. I suggest you do it, let him know that I sent you, and uh, let's get this started, man. My man Bengal. What's going on? How you doing, dude? I'm doing well. I'm about to actually buy Troy Till whiskey. Are you? Because, For uh, this game? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I made a I made a lot of subs when I held on to Hinjin Ryu. Oh. And uh, I made like 1.1 mil off him. Oh my. So I can just I pretty much get anyone I want at this point. I don't really play the game How? much anymore. Damn. With Madden, so. How much did you get him at? What was his initial price when you started investing? like 1.2 to 2.2 and so i just kept buying him and kept buying him and kept buying him and uh once he got to about 2.7 i'm like eh, probably not anymore yeah even though you can like there's no reason if a card goes to 3500 stubs even like close to 4000 um if you're like oh it's too much to invest in it's like there's still a profit margin there and it's still pretty big if you're making 1k on a card all you need are you know 10 of those cards to make 10k yeah. hey. and if you have all and that's it's at four thousand. yeah no i and if you have a bunch of stubs that are just sitting there i mean you can multiply that by however many you want to invest in them you know what i mean like there's there's money to be made regardless there exactly what you're saying like that thousand and it's a quick sell so you're not getting taxes taken off that's you can easily make money that way yeah there's a ton of opportunity damn but that has to be so nice I, seeing that I guy like go diamond oh yeah well he went up to 84 and they they're like hey we're just gonna bring down his hit per nine oh I'm really like, what or his k per nine something like that oh. and like why bother at that point mm -hmm. mlb the show i think sds like i'm not gonna rant too hard because i'm gonna respect your channel here no it's all um, dude we we but, we like to be honest here it's the no cap right like we, uh, that, that's true. Yeah. Okay, so I don't think SDS even has a fucking clue what they're doing. <laughs> there really, we go. I love it. They're, they're free balling it. I really think they're incompetent. Um, and I'm, what am I going to be a Sony partner? Who cares? No, yeah. Who, what am I? Well, okay, so my thing for that, right, is there's times where I feel they may not know what they're doing. And then there's times where I think back because when did you start playing? What year? 17. Okay, I got a okay. Got a, so the two, huge Ken Griffey Jr. background. Oh, I got a PS4, and, and I'm like, that makes sense. See what happens. So the prime years were 15 and 16. Like you ask the guys that played back then, the guys that have went back and played, that's when gameplay was the best, right? Content wasn't necessarily the greatest, but it didn't matter because the gameplay was so good. And I mean, mm -hmm. as a side note, that'll show everybody how important gameplay is because I would trade. I love the content this year but I would trade it all for good gameplay. You know what I mean? Like, I just would. Yeah. And nobody the was complaining. Was terrible to play. Yeah, we were all so happy with how the gameplay was. So, when you're playing, I sent the challenge, by the way. Did you get it? Oh yeah, I, I just noticed it. Okay, no, it's all good. And then, so like, when you play then, and you see how the game works, you, you know what SDS is capable of. And I've given them the benefit of the doubt for a long time, and there's times where I regret it because of what you end up seeing. But I truly do mean it when I, I say I know they can make a game that works. I know they can because we've played it before. It's progressively gotten worse and worse. So I don't know where that problem lies. I don't know 
where the change needs to happen but like i half agree saying they don't know what they're doing because they know the problems and it still hasn't fixed so there i agree with you but i know that it is possible for them to eventually be able to get it right that i know i don't i don't think they listen either i think that's a big problem i think they think they do or maybe they they say they listen but then they don't take any action on it so what's the point yeah uh it gets it gets super frustrating to you know hear the same concerns over and over and over again mm -hmm. especially when it's like everyone's like what was it patch 1.12 or 11 yeah what we liked it we liked that patch where everyone said it was good and then they're like well, <laughs> you got your favorite player bat and lead off huh i respect it a lot dude i've got like the sockman hitting eighth oh my god some, like, i just noticed El Gary. <laughs> what is he doing there bro that's He's, pride at it his finest dude oh if, my if god. you hang on with verlander dude the sockman is gonna go oppo taco we're gonna have issues all right i'll gift you five subs <laughs> if you hit a jack with talkman off of me how about that okay dude i played movie just for running with streaming he's like you want to run a game i'm like all right Ichiro hit two home runs off me. I'm like, what is oh, happening? Man. Yeah, Ichiro. that doesn't feel good. And like, the, no one else was hitting. It's just Ichiro, two home runs. Early swings, of course. Yeah, early just gonna... pulled missiles, just oh, absolute yeah. titty blasters, and you're just like, okay. Like, I guess that's just Apparently, Lou Gehrig. Apparently, Ichiro had unreal, like, batting practice power. He just didn't play that way. Because <laughs> he... It would oh, be way better. Like otherwise. in in real life, that's actually a fact about him. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, I would look into it. That's neat because uh, he hit some nukes in Japan as well. Wow. I mean, that's definitely something I would like to see. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a there's a clip. It's a uh, bottom nine for the Mariners. The runner on first. They're down by one, and Ichiro just loads up and hits a walk-off home run off mariano yeah Rivera. it was off the Yan okay i was about to say was that against the yankees okay yeah, i'm a big yankees fan. no i i know you are uh, dude for the people that don't know and maybe don't know bengal as well all i can say to you is you need to follow him on twitter the dude is one <laughs> of the greatest fucking trolls but he also posts really interesting stuff about nfl about mlb a lot of good stuff i mean that's how i first heard of you and seen you is not even on twitch but like one of those troll tweets that just got blown up you know i love doing that it's so favorite it's just so great like, I, you get what's these... so fun to me is inspiring confusion yeah that's what you do where people have no clue what's <laughs> real and what's fake and you just put have them in a constant state where it's like do i even comment on this like am i am i misreading this it's great dude i love that's, it that's where i want I think I just I don't want you to ever know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it might have been your wide receiver rankings that I first seen, and I was like, oh, this oh, guy's out for so heads bad. right now. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll do my all-time player rankings. Like, I think Bo Jackson's a phenomenal athlete, one of the greatest athletes ever. But he pre NFL, and I put you, him at you like cut out a little two. bit. What did you say about uh, Bo? I think he's one of the greatest athletes ever. Mm -hmm. Like, like top one maybe. Because yeah, it takes an incredible athlete. You're talking about athleticism, pure, right? Huh? You're talking about just pure athleticism. Yeah, yeah. like as a pure athlete, you're so big, so strong, so fast, multi-sport. Yeah, you know, be absolutely. I I agree. But he he also only played like four years in the NFL, and mm -hmm. I put him at like number two all time in my running back list, and I put Emmett Smith at number one, and Emmett Smith has the most yards all time. But it's certainly not the best pure running back. Ran behind the best offensive line ever. Yeah. Arguably. And I think it, a lot of people would say it's Barry Sanders. Yeah. Which I might agree with. So I put out these lists that are wild. And I just wait for the comments to flow in of people being like, this is so stupid. I hate you. Oh, okay. You're so you put idiot. in you put in Bo Jackson as a troll at second. Oh, yeah. And there were a okay. lot of other names. That, and like I change up the order a little bit. And like I did a wide receiver list. I had Jerry Rice at like four, which is a. Uh, <laughs> Like he's he's one or two. Yeah, probably one. I mean, it, what, you would say it's him or Randy Moss. Moss. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Moss is a better pure athlete. Mm -hmm. Rice is the better pure receiver. Yeah. I mean, it just kind of depends. <laughs> that's both dominant. The Bo Jackson is something that that's a perfect confusion one because there's mm -hmm. actually people out there that would argue that he's up there. When you have these, I don't want to make it too obvious because then people are like, "Oh, this is yeah, a joke," yeah, yeah. and that's not fun. To exactly. Me. 
No, that makes sense. That's that's definitely. I want people to be confused. <laughs> you just inspire just mayhem and controversy. That's that's the goal. And then some people hate it. Yeah. One thing that we've talked about a little bit before, but I'd like to talk about a little more, is that how you know your intent, right? And a lot of these guys and a lot of your fans, they watch you, they watch all these videos and they know you and they know you personally, or they feel like they do, right? They can get a sense of your humor when they watch your videos. And I mean, just watching your Twitch and watching how you interact with people, I can get a sense of how you joke around and all that stuff. But then you have these fans and you have these viewers that come up to you and they're talking to you and they're making these jokes with you. And it's like, you may know me, but I have no idea really who you are, you know? Yeah, it's a really tough spot because uh, you could watch somebody stream, you know, like a couple times, maybe you're in there for a few hours, mm -hmm. and it's like you're hanging out with them for a few hours, but they're not hanging out with you, so they don't they don't know you or your sense of humor yep. or how you act or interact, and it just makes, uh, it makes conversation sometimes a little bit tough because, you, you know, they expect you to kind of know these things because it, they it feel like they know you yeah but um i don't know it's just it's weird i had it's a weird. situation like that where there was this guy that was consistently in my streams and all that stuff J jim palmer's kind of weird to read this is my first time i ever faced him but yeah i've been i've used him before i've liked him a lot mm -hmm. he's probably got an era maybe under two for me oh so that i've liked him. can't be mad at that but um i had a situation like that right where this guy he comes in my streams a decent amount. I think he may be a sub, but um, he messaged me on Twitter. In, or, uh, he sent me a picture on Twitter and I didn't open it initially. And then so he whispers me on Twitch and he goes, check your Twitter DMs. And I was like, okay. And it was after a, a SDS stream. And it's this picture and initially it just looks like a picture of the guys on the couch like during the stream you know what i mean when they're presenting the cards or whatever and i was like i messaged him back i was like what is it and he was like zoom in and he photoshopped a picture of a penis on all three of them coming <laughs> from up above the table right jesus oh, gary but i was like like bro like real real dicks though you know what i mean like real dicks <laughs> and i was just like he's probably working yeah hard i was like too. what the fuck and I was like, bro, yeah, who are weird. you? And he was like, dude, I, I just thought it was funny, dude. You, I thought you would li think it was funny. You don't look at, what do you get? Yeah. You don't look looking at it like, God. Yeah, and I was like, bro, what if, dude, I don't what even if they know were you. His. Huh? <laughs> he took the screenshot of himself. Of just his dick he, at different he, angles. He, and just, yeah. <laughs> then I would, I would probably respect it a little more and I would send him a friend request. No, dude, but it, be so it was just so weird, dude, because I was just like, what makes you think that's something that I wanted to see? You know what I mean? Like, it was just so random. But you have guys like that that will DM me talking about some stuff. And, like, it's just like, man, it's so hard to actually get the feel that I know you or I know what you're talking about or your humor. Because you see me. You see me streaming. You see my videos. But I don't see you on the other end. You know what I mean? I get the... Mm -hmm. For every two hours you watch me, I maybe interact with you personally for like once or twice yeah i mean few times. exactly it's just when you brought that up to me it kind of like it's something you don't really think about when you're in these awkward situations you know you're not thinking about like why they feel they know you so well but it's just i i guess it makes sense how they can feel like they've hung out with me and they've joked around with me but in reality it's like shoot i i mean i'm down i'm down to make new friends and stuff i'm not trying to block anybody off but i'm also not like into weird ass stuff you know yeah and I, I will be honest as you get a as you get more of an audience and, and you're growing pretty quickly so you'll figure it out quick but there are certain barriers that you need to create for yourself and it's just everyone is a human entitled to their own security and privacy yeah and you don't have to be in the public eye all the time mm -hmm. and like people will dm and and uh they'll try to they'll request it and um on instagram especially because you can't turn it off on twitter i have it turned off yeah but i, I know instagram, you do like some people some people try and video call me really I'm like what do you think is gonna happen like do you I'm think like, i'm just gonna answer this phone call and just that, that's why i get nervous to, that's why i get nervous to answer random dms on instagram because then you have that access to me and i feel obliged to 
respond. Yeah. I, I feel like, like a, a dick if I don't. But the thing is, is like, everyone's gonna, you know, choose something to hate about something. Mm -hmm. It's just, when you get more of a following, it's inevitable. So, oh, that guy's a stuck up dick. He doesn't have DMs open. It's like, you don't understand the magnitude that they come in on and the stupid questions. Like, I'll get out my phone here in a second and I'll read some of the DMs. Okay. That I get. Yeah. They're like, some of them are super nice and i try to respond to a few of them it's like oh man love your videos and it's like i really really do appreciate that but and, and i'm i'm really you know blessed to be in a situation oh god that's, that's a great double blow. yeah that's a 98 speed i was like shoot i'm blessed to be in a situation where i do have a lot of people that say hey man i love what you do yeah but some people like let me see here like uh, another thing i don't know why this annoys me as much but people who don't follow my twitter or think that i don't have access to the internet they'll just tag me or ask me hey did you see this it's like i've only been tweeting about it for the last 40 minutes <laughs> yeah. did i see this but uh one thing that i feel you a thousand percent is the dudes that ask you for madden codes and they don't even follow you on twitter it's like dude also people think i have them i don't have any <laughs> I think, i'm i'm I only speaking have what EA gives me. yeah i'm speaking if you did you know what i mean it's like yeah. why would he give that to you you don't even support and, him. Why would he support you? Yeah. Well, because they, they want something. Yeah, <laughs> people don't, they don't They don't care. They just, they want, mm -hmm. they want, they want. One thing that I found kind of tough to deal with is because I've been trying really hard to, like, pay it forward, right? Like, I've gotten blessed lately with people being generous to me and gifting subs and donating stuff. So, like, I'll go in streams of my buddies. Like, you saw me in Coogs. I was gifting subs, right? And this is a good example because you were there. I gifted, and I gotta keep in mind, dude, some of these guys that we're associating with are so young, so I can't expect them to yeah. have, like, the the common, like, sense that we have as more grown people, but I gift that kid a sub, and instead of it being, like, something where it's like, oh, thank you, you know what I mean? All of a sudden, it was like, can I send you a friend request? Can I play against you? And it was yeah. just nonstop, and he's whispering me, asking to play. And I just was like, I wasn't mean to him, but I was like, hey man, I gifted you the sub just trying to be nice, but I'm just trying to chill and watch the stream, you know? Like, that's all I'm trying people, to... People think a lot of the time that, uh, like, talking shit too will get you to play them. It's like, people have their own schedules. Yeah. And it's like, just because you watch them, it's like, that's very much appreciated. That's out of here. Uh, it's like, it's really appreciated, but if you know i can't make time for everybody exactly and like you know sometimes you like to try and do something nice i'm in there i try time uh to you know people i like and i mean i don't I, i'm not saying this to be like oh look, look how cool i am but I, I went and i donated some money to serenity the other the other day because mm -hmm. he needs a new computer. just you know some nice things here and there it doesn't have to yeah. be anything huge but the small things go a long way and it feels good but for yourself ask too. for more but it's when people ask for mm -hmm. more that it gets a little bit frustrating yeah uh, this is DM. This guy doesn't even follow me, by the way, if that's uh, relevant. On Hi, Instagram? excuse me. Yeah. Hi, excuse me. I was wondering if you can give someone a special message for me. First of all, what what does that mean? <laughs> really? That must have been the guy that sent me the dick pic, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, it freaks. Th this is that is says, that how uh, that message ended? That was just. That, that's it. Oh my god. Yeah. I, that's I'm how not mysterious. Not respond to that one. I almost want you to. <laughs> just be like, what's this message? Special message, suck my dick, please. Yeah, oh, probably. Man. Hey, man, I'm a big fan of YouTube and wondering if you were going to do a community fantasy football league. I'd like to join. Yeah, dude, let me make a fantasy football league and I'll just get to you. <laughs> oh, dude, one thing that... Okay, there's two things that have been kind of bugging me about that. Is, um, yeah, Instagram, actually, now that you're talking about it that's where i've been getting most of like the unwarranted messages because they can just you just see them in your message requests you know what i mean like yeah but um i've constantly get messages of people asking me advice on how to set up their stream you know what i mean and it's <laughs> like the, that that's another big pet peeve yeah people will ask you questions that they can easily figure out exactly like through youtube yeah. or google and so half of me right like coogs and gunski in healy they helped me a ton setting up my stuff right but these are friends you know what i mean these are guys that i know and these are guys that i could also be beneficial to if they ever need anything i never go ask people that i don't know for stuff so for me it's a whole nother thing because i'm like 
I have a whole nother mentality where it's like, bro, like, figure it out, you know? Like, I hate to sound like a... Jesus. I, I don't want to sound like a dick, but it's like, bro, we all have to deal with this stuff. You know what I mean? We all have to figure out this stuff. So it's like... And they're asking... It's like, how do... Uh, oh, this one guy sent me a message yesterday. And his first half of the message was asking about... Or I'll say his first quarter of the message was asking me about... Uh, whoa, hold on. Can you still hear me? Yeah. Oh, my, com my computer went black, but everything's good. Okay, but his okay, the cool. first quarter of his message was talking about how he wants to get into streaming. In the last three quarters was him talking about the revenue I make, how, how easy it is to make revenue, how you go about <laughs> making revenue. It's like, bro, I'm not going to message this back. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's one thing where it's like... I'm not trying to sound cliche, but it's like, bro, if you only care about the money, you shouldn't be doing it anyways. Because you're probably going to put out content that's not very good if you don't care about, like, appealing to your viewers and you only care about making the dollar, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, that's just how I feel. It's like... And then another thing is I have no idea who he is. Yeah, people people are weird like i'll get comments sometimes where i refresh and i see my comments i try not to look at too many because that's a just that's asking for me to get really mad mm -hmm. for no reason yeah um but also how do you record your gameplay on are you oh, serious okay, you're asking for... that, no no that, I, I that's a question that i get sometimes <laughs> or the, the people this one really gets to me is this the are these youtube comments to, oh yeah okay these people that will try to correct you when they're wrong oh man like so i one thing that I go back to because it, it just boggles me how insane it was is I was doing a Falcons rebuild and I uh, talked about yeah I think the Falcons were went 10 and 6 last year and then someone in my comments goes uh, no they went 11 and 5 and then I, I looked that up and they went 10 and 6 I'm like what are you doing right now I'm like you're correcting me and you're not right and that happens so often you wouldn't even believe it's like you took the time to correct me on my YouTube video, and you didn't even bother to make sure you were right at first. <laughs> it's it's just the audacity, honestly. It's these kids, and I know they have to be. These kids that don't know any better, and they think their opinion is that of God. Yeah. And they'll. Uh, just, I, I I feel <laughs> obviously I this feel, gets to me. Yeah. No, because it, it, and it's just straight up like, this is okay. This is why I like this series that I'm doing, right? Because like I bring on these guys that everybody's a fan of like you, Coogs, all these guys, and we talk about shit that you may not be able to get off your chest, like, with other, like, in any other time, you know what I mean? You're not gonna post a video about a rebuild and then all of a sudden go into this stuff and kinda, you know what I mean? It, like, I feel like it gets to show people, like, a, the human side of everybody. You, you get what I'm kinda saying? Yeah, I mean, I try to keep it 100, Yeah, as a, as a kid say. Well, I mean, but, uh, but yeah, you, you keep it 100 yeah, on Twitter this too, though. Yeah yeah so like uh the thing is i'm not afraid to tell anyone how i feel yeah and because i don't care if it'll hurt your feelings sometimes depends on who it is but if, if like someone's doing something shitty i'll call it out like mm -hmm. uh there was a youtuber very very popular let me see how many subscribers he has at the moment um and he's like huge in our scene he has just over a million oh congrats to him on hitting a million Jeez. subscribers this is madden anyway yeah yeah okay. and um Talk he man. had this Lefty, lefty. The sock, he's a beast. <laughs> he had this uh, subscription service where you paid a, a hundred up to a thousand dollars per month, like a lot of per money month for certain. Yeah, yeah, um, for certain rewards. I know it was at least a hundred. I think you could go up, but it was at least a hundred dollars per month, and you would get like as some rewards, you would get how to be successful. Oh, the highlight of the thing was how to make it big on YouTube without working hard. Oh. I'm like, are you out of your mind? Like, it's just not achievable. You have to put work in anything to be successful, but that's what he was advertising. How to be successful on YouTube without working hard. And um, like certain things he had were like some guidelines and then he would send you automated text messages like for motivation. I'm like, you no have got to be way. hitting me. Yeah, so I called this out big time on uh, on Twitter. And we got into it pretty heavy. This is about a year ago, maybe. Yeah. You're good, uh, lefty lefty. My God. I'm awful, actually. Usually, but if you just throw a fastball up and into me, lefty lefty, there's not a chance. But you're just hanging sliders, yeah, and that's I am easy. Hanging a lot of <laughs> yeah. But uh. Oh, Robbie Allen. Oh my God. <laughs> I took an L to twin, and I'm gonna take an L to you on 
on my own video, and I'm more than happy to. I love it. Well, I mean, I'm a, I'm gonna manage to lose, but right now, I mean, we're on top of the world. Yeah. Let's just call it here. I retire. <laughs> It'd be a good time. Just, just go into Madden scene. Just chill. You know, you can just. Dude, is Seth Lugo nasty in this game? Dude, I played my game against Rebel, and he was using him, and I was like, all right, we'll get him. <laughs> we'll get him <laughs> next game. Yeah, it's, it's, he's got a weird delivery. I'm not a huge fan of that. Yeah, it's so strange. Slider and the fastball have this. Yeah, exactly. Line. That's the that's the hard part about it. But I'll like I've been hitting well on Legend today, and then I'll come on a Hall of Fame, and not only I mean the pitch speeds are slower, but I'll be later, and it just doesn't make sense. And I'm trying to still figure out the You're over balance with that. That's what it is. Yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely the most frustrating thing. These kind of at bats are super frustrating, where you can't put people away, yeah. and then they get to face it. Yeah, it's because I don't. If you're very late, I don't really think you should be able to make contact a lot of the time. Oh, Sometimes I maybe, but uh, it like depends on the pitch location. If you're very early on an outside slider, that should never be contact. I agree. And, uh, very late up and in, never be contact. Up really at all. Yeah. But it just doesn't seem to matter. There's a. That's the thing is they make it so easy. Yeah. Like, it, the problem is that you can get a hit with any different type of contact you make, and that's just not how it should be. Yeah. People are rewarded more on the... I think early is the most overpowered thing that doesn't get enough talk, is that early yanks are hits a lot of the time. Yeah, and, then and very early. Up is, the, the good squared upper hits, you know, almost never, which sounds crazy. But, but it's true. I mean, it's uh, completely... I've been getting good okays again on the ball, too. Mm -hmm. Before I stop playing, but fucking, I don't know. Just, gameplay, gameplay sucks. Content's great, but what does it matter? Yep. Let's try to get out okay, I, I, I'm not gonna strike out here. What the fuck? Ooh. All right, let's... What didn't even think about it? Did you not? Uh, nah, I hesitated big time. That's right. It looked, it looked like I stone cold took it, but that could have clipped, and I would be like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Ooh, that's a way to stay alive. Mm, shouldn't have. Wasn't even close. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you just know. Yeah. All right. If we gotta. You're, if you're gonna dot we me up hit. like that. That's. Fucking Jim Palmer, bro. What? I'm telling. I'm telling you. No one puts respect on my man Jim. But he's allowed one home run. Yeah. That's, that's to Frank run. Thomas. I mean. And not even a lot of lineouts either. No, I I've I've average. literally been making horrible contact. Like it's. I just have not been hitting him well. It is tough when you're talking to. Yeah, but I mean, there's no no, there's no excuse though. I shouldn't. I'm just <laughs> playing poorly, because a lot of these games I'm talking, but I'm hitting well. It's just I I haven't adjusted to the Hall of Fame as well as I should have. Game's not over. Hopefully, I can put up some stuff together. Oh, I'm sure you can, and I, I'll I'll let I you think go I went. longer than you should. Oh, okay. So I'll I'll let him go longer. <laughs> right, I always do, dude. I don't take out my comment and be. I just don't do you it. You don't? Like, oh, yeah, you I'm, know I'm what? I think that's how you lost to me in BR. Probably. I think I just had to jack <laughs> off like my number three batter against your common guy, and then just one one to nothing. Yeah, that's that'll happen. That's why I think I haven't gone twelve and zero this year. You think so? Is uh, well, part of it. Well, why I don't you I, well, I think just the, take him out? I'm like really lazy and you're like that lazy that you don't go to your bullpen you're like that's crazy and you're <laughs> but, right. but it's just true that's how you offer yeah, I, just, I just I just don't do it it's the thing on my channel where people are like take your comment out and I'm like fucking make me I'm not gonna do it <laughs> that's fucking great though uh, I think I think a big thing is also like you'll outplay someone BR it's it's tough because in nine innings the better player is usually gonna win like a lot of the time yeah in BR that's just not BR. the case Nah. I mean, you can allow seven That's runs to bullshit pitch. and line out three times an inning. Oh. I didn't think you'd be ready for that. I haven't thrown that pitch all game. Yeah, you have not. Come on, also, right. I hate fucking check swings in this game. The check swings are so toxic. Is that you better make this play, Mike. Uh -oh. You piece of shit. That's that Talkman play. What's his fielding? Uh, lower than it should be. It's pr probably, I wouldn't say it's higher than 70. 
At least if I lose, I can say me. I'll just try to out hit you. That's seventy-two fielding, sixty-nine. Oh, reaction. that's not bad. Yeah, but it's not All right, come on, Roberto. Tony, Tony Gwynn makes that play very easily. Hmm. Oh, he's focusing. Yeah, I'm. I'm locking in for this <laughs> inning. If I don't score this inning, you might as well just take the dub because. That'll be that, but for this inning, I'm focusing. All right, that's big. That's tough when I'm put, putting that right down the fucking middle. Yeah, that's good so pitch annoying. When that out of his arm. Oh, that's a dot. We gotta score at least one more. See, so you're not gonna swing it. I'm just, I gotta throw a strike. I'm trying. Well, now I'm locked in, so now it's like it'll be a little tougher because I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let you conversate with me during this inning. I'm just gonna. I mean, I'm gonna try. You know. He said, "I mean, I'm gonna try." The conversation will resume after this inning. We'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be when you're up. It's out of the zone. It's early. Don't oh, do this pitch, to me. Pitch, game. Pitch. Fastball up and in. Got too much plate. Is Talkman's arm good? good? Nope, it's full okay. 45. Are we tied? Tom is furious here? No, I think I'm up one. You're not. Oh, are we tied? Ah, <laughs> oh, God. I'm not a math guy. <laughs> I'm not a math guy. I thought, you only, I thought it was 4 1. I thought you only it was 4 1. Two. I scored I 3. Was... Well, there you go. Wow. Nice fucking pitch. I've gone low fastball every time after that slider. <laughs> Can you just not? Can you not say anything? Dude, I was that shit to my and he has no idea what to do. How many times he have you played no Gunski? Uh, probably, probably close to ten. In uh, ranked? Um, nah, just friendlies. And stuff. No, but I, I mean, I, I mean, with West. with DD teams though, like we're playing right now. Oh, okay. We need somebody to get there. Oh my lord! I played him in a. I played him in ranked seasons a couple of times. That's fucking squared up, by the way. Good, okay. It's. It, Dead center. No, I, I trust guy. you. I trust you. That, I mean, it's 92 off the bat with fucking hand rims. I'm definitely not upset about oh. that hit. I would ju I just knew it was catchable. And well, I'm, like... I'm, a, I'm annoyed it's not a harder hit ball. Yeah, it should be no, a home exactly. run in my opinion. When I square up a slider yeah. down there, hang it up a bit. But um, how, this inside fastball. How, what's your record hell? against Gunski? Uh, I haven't beat him. I, I definitely can't um, beat you in that. Well, like, the thing is, again, like, I, fu I fuck around. Yeah, of course. And uh, I, I get myself in the mindset of, oh, I'm not going to beat him, so why take it seriously? Mm -hmm. like, we, we've had some close games. I think he walked it off on me in the ninth once. Oh, really? Um, yeah, and then, like, in actual, we, we matched up and ranked. And, oh. Uh, I, was up, I was up on him, like, five to one. What's his hitting stats? They're not bad. They're actually not bad. He's playing up big time today. Oh, he's is on he? fire in real life. He's oh, on dude, fire. Oh, dude, he's been nuts. Him and Geo. He's no Geo or Shallow. Yeah, <laughs> they've been insane. Ugh, yuck, dude. I looked up. Dude, I looked up Geo's numbers up. today. He's up to slugging like 580. And in the past month, in, in August, I mean, he's hitting like 440 with a slugging over a thousand. Jesus, like ridiculous. Dude, the numbers. thing I don't get about Geo, every I have a home run alerts on my phone. And every time he hits a home run, I see that he has like 13 jacks or something. And I mean, well, before, I think he probably has like 17 now or something, right? But it's like, mm -hmm. how does he not have 35? I feel like he goes deep every day. I don't get it. Um, he got, like, he didn't hit a home run for a while. So he's been really hot this week. No, so yeah, he's hit like, okay. he's hit like five this week. Yeah, dude, he, he had two, he had four home runs in two games, right? He might even have more in the past week. I mean, it's it's at least five, at least. Yeah, I, I think it um, may be more because he had he had a, a two home run game in back to back games. You know who I'm dog shit with in this game? Yeah. His name is fucking Kenley. Are you? Yeah. Wow. Like I feel like I'm I dominate and then I give up. Both. Who do you have? Do a Peralta, Alomar. Some heavy hitters there. Yeah, yeah, it is. Gio has, like, with the home run today, six homers in the last seven days. Six? Mm -hmm. Did you see Aquino today? 
Yeah. Oh fucking my rebound. lord, what is up with that guy? And Jordan Alvarez. Yeah, had dude, a... Jordan's insane. Great. Only thing about Jordan really is his third. He wants to be called Jordan. That's what Rebel just that. told me today. I was like, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I'm, I refuse to. It's usually the opposite. That's like that's like with your name, Kyle. If you, like, I want to oh, be known, on, known as like Keyle. <laughs> You don't get to decide that. Who's here? Oh, you don't know who they are? It's in our family? Oh, uh, I'm recording a video. Dude, just strangers come to my house. Yeah, actual strangers. Okay. What do they want? Probably you say my hello? <laughs> I mean, I would guess. No, but, um... Yeah... Jor Jordan Alvarez, he's he's gonna be Jordan. Yeah, I'm not calling him J Jordan. Like, there's no way. It, unless it becomes like everyone's starting to. Like, I, That's I'm make really me good with say Jordan even more though, just to make people upset. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm I'm very good with uh, pronouncing names and things. Like, there's a player, uh, formerly of the Cardinals. His name's Deon Buchanan. Like, it, uh, football. He's on the Bucks now, and he spells his name D E O N E. But it's day on, and people always, Jesus Christ! Oh, is that not out? Is it not? It's really close. What? The he Sockman caught it! Dude. Oh my God! Mike, I didn't Sockman. think there was any chance he was catching it. Dude, it was out at first. I came back. That's. I had no uh, ball trail. That's why I didn't even move for it with Willie. That's Mendes. unfortunate. Um, but yeah, like so, everyone called him Dion, and like people would correct me, and they're like, "It's not Dion. Why do you keep saying Dion?" I'm like, "It's Dion." I fucking asked him. Oh, you, you really like knew him? I mean, mm, no, no I, I asked him on Twitter, yeah. and he's like Dion, and it's like his fucking Twitter bio is like D E A. What the fuck? D A Y. That's what those letters are. Mm -hmm. D A Y dash O W N for his pronunciation oh okay and then people have the, uh, the audacity again to say uh, you're wrong <laughs> it's like the same but with Jordan, i'm not calling him jordan <laughs> he's not gonna do it <laughs> i was way out in front of that yeah that's the very early stuff we were talking give me that sinker low and away there you go dude how did i miss that dude you were expecting it low and away and it fucking went high and then drifted in but somewhere. i thought i was all over it you probably were no oh, i was i was on top Sometimes, like, the most annoying shit is when you square it up and it's a ground ball double play, and you go, that shouldn't happen. You're just like, alright, I should have probably gotten the best result possible in the game, and I got the worst. So. The ground balls when you are really frustrating. Yep. And the people that say, well, that's baseball, man. That can happen. It's all about swing path. Why <laughs> you shut your fucking mouth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a video. People don't get it. It's a video game. Yeah. It should be who has the best input. That should be the what should uh, be the the best result people have such strange arguments when it comes to defending the game it's absolutely insane and the, the people and i mean you probably don't get this as much because you're generally accepted as fantastic at the game but at the start of the year for me um i started complaining about oh i'm lining out all the time and i'm giving up a bunch of late hits and of course the entire comments section that is either that's baseball or you just you're just complaining because you're bad i'm I, like that guy's out hitting you it doesn't matter as long as they fall right i'm like you're such a fucking clown yeah the only people who don't realize that there's something wrong with the game aren't good enough to realize yeah i mean that's exactly what it is that's exactly what it is or i mean it's you know. it's realistically it's the like guys that 2019 is my best year so far it's like yeah, yeah bro it it is because <laughs> you're not hitting properly and they're rewarding you for it I think the gameplay of the past three years, Jesus Christ. Uh, I think the most fun gameplay was 17, and that obviously had its problems. The just late shit mm -hmm. was annoying. Well, if that's but the I first like year you played, it's definitely the best out of the last three years. Like, no doubt. Yeah, it, it was tougher to, to realize shit was really wrong. Like, 18, 
it was uh, squared up on the ball and you're just randomly popping out or you get fucking good weak, good okay. Mm-hmm. But with uh, with 19, it's just like, you can hit the ball somewhat hard, not hard enough, but it's somewhat hard, but it's just an out every time. Yeah. And then people are like, well, sometimes you're going to line out. But the ratio is like on the barreled balls, like the barreled ball percentage for hits mm-hmm. for average is like 700. And in the game, it's like 100. Yeah. I feel like every one out of ten good squared up balls results in a hit. It, it does and feel it, like that. It really does. The feel amount like of times that. I pull the ball viciously hard at the third baseman is insane. The, I line up to the third baseman what feels like five times a game sometimes. The worst is when you have the hit, like you're using a lefty and you pull one of those for a liner to so the first baseman and they tag the guy first for a double play. Yeah. It's just like. Rough. That happens less this year. Do you think so? It's happened yeah, to me I, a it lot. Happened to me all, it happened to me all the time in 18. It happens uh, definitely less. 18 was it's just still, a travesty. That game was so bad. Yeah. I, I think 19 is awful as well. No, it, it they're both just bad. Like, it's unfair <laughs> to bad, compare but... them which one's worse. Because when you give the answer to one of them, you're, you're, you're giving some type of credit to the other. And neither of them deserve credit. You know what I mean? It's so I just say they're equally I, I bad. I go back and forth. I go back and forth trying to figure out which one is more rewarding objectively, and it's tough. Because 18, you get more home runs. Mm-hmm. In 19, you probably get more hits. Yeah, but you it was impossible to get singles in, in 18. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was home run or nothing. Mm-hmm. I think 19 is probably slightly more rewarding, but it's, it's tough. It, it's so tough. It's more frustrating to me, almost. The problem is with 18, if you if you squared it, something up perfectly, like that ball was gonna get blasted to the moon. Mm-hmm. In this game, you're not guaranteed to get rewarded if you do exactly what you're supposed to do. Unfortunately. Was that Willie Mays who I just set up? I can't. I don't remember. Dude, no, it was hand ramp. It was hand yeah. Ramp. I'm in like autopilot where I'm just. I would just early on a ball that was squared up and it was okay contact. Oof. Good eye. I would love a hit with Gary Sanchez here. You have no idea. Fuck. I, the, ah, I hate the upset. Talk, oh, man. It's suck, man. Oh, man. I squared it up, but I was too late because I suck. If he now, I think a, a lot of people might pinch hit here. but Do you want to? I mean, I just... Guy. I figured I because you have the subs on the line, you would try it. Oh, no. He's going to hit. Top nine, two outs. This is, this is when he comes to play. Ah, oh, you idiot. There we go. Jeez, man. I, f- I almost feel like I got lucky and escaped with that one. It was such a close game. I don't think so. <laughs> I think you deserved to win. Eh, sure. I got some hope with the walks, though. I mean, dude, that was just such a weird game because, like, neither of us were killing the ball. You know what I mean? It was just, like, no. soft, soft, soft. But I appreciate you. I mean, there's still a couple questions I want to ask you if that's cool. Yeah, like, we didn't... I was so weird. I felt like this game like went you, so quick. What I did with Kiv is I did a little home run derby sesh. If you want to get nasty in home run derby, all right, we can. I got I got dibs on the freight train. Okay, you get freight train. I'll 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 pick I'll pick up somebody that is just random. What are you trying to say? Uh, he's, he's just a random guy, you know. Like whatever, man. You think David Peralta is <laughs> just random? I'm power wise. He's he's not he's not exactly Thanos, you know. In 18, I, I forget whose home run derby was. Might have been Coogs who did it. I hopped in and I won with David Peralta. Did you really? Against like, yeah, against like Stanton and fucking Aaron Judge. Okay, so once you get, go- I don't really think. Power okay, Peralta's bad. At power 63. So we're gonna use. Are you in home run derby right now? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like you picked your guy already. Dietrich's nope. power is only 68. I mean, 66. I may have to use Dietrich. Oh, okay. I, per- I picked my feller. I kind of wanted to use Conforto. This shit's so high, though, actually. I'm surprised. I want to use a lefty. I'm going to use Rugnit Odor. Dude, he rakes in the game. Does he? I love him. You want to go Coors? Like, I only play BR, pretty much. Uh, play with friends. Create lobby. There we go. Okay. So what year did you start uploading on YouTube? It was it YouTube or Twitch first for you? YouTube. So 
the first video I ever uploaded was 2008. And uh, it was like, oh man, yeah, it was a long time ago. I was very, very young. I was uh, about 10 years old, 2008, maybe 11. And uh, it was with a friend of mine. And we did like this, I think we call it Sports Center for Kids. It was fucking stupid, but. <laughs> Why was it stupid? Dude, by the way, you're going to smack me in this home run derby. All I do is um, I just pull everything early. That's all I do. Well, I just missed that. I checked one because I was so early. I didn't realize how slow it was. <laughs> so I didn't even get a fucking swing on the first one. Um, and then I, I, those were only like two videos. Mm -hmm. And then I came back in 2011 and I did um, Call of Duty. I did trick shotting and then I eventually did um, like pub stomping and shit. So you were pretty good at COD? I played competitive for a while. Oh, wow. As well, yeah. So I, I mean, I'm pretty good. I mean, you even just be. playing casually. Uh, oh, that's uh, no fuck. I'm, I'm. This is not going well for yeah, me. Yeah, I. I wish they rewarded foul ball home runs because I'd be setting a record. Every. I wasn't power swinging it, and now. Oh, I, I never do. I'm, I'm hitting it into the fucking ground. Are we supposed to be using square? I don't know. But <laughs> well, well I, I feel like my X swings aren't going anywhere. Yeah, that's true. All right, but okay. So about your YouTube. Okay. Um, there we go. That's a jack. I did that for a while. Did some did some Call of Duty stuff. I quit again. Came back in 2013 or tw late 2012 for Madden 13. I started doing Ultimate Team and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then so for a lot of the bigger names now in the Madden community. I was either subscribe to them or collab with them back in Madden 13. Oh, wow. So that was that was the first year that people were really uploading mm -hmm. uh, Ultimate Team in Madden because it was the first year that Ultimate Team was good. So guys like Cullenberger, who are pretty big in the scene, or used to be, he's kind of died off a bit because he stopped uploading. But he has uh, about 500K subscribers, something that range. And then we had collabed. He was at about 4,000 at the time. So we were making videos together at that time. He had 4,000 subscribers. He got up way over 400K, maybe 500. The Texas boy, who I'm good friends with now, is almost at 100K. Wow. He was under 1,000. Victionary, who just hit 200K, he was under 1,000. Jeez. So the, the scenes evolved a lot. But I stopped uploading. I quit. I focused on uh, other things like fucking school sports and bullshit. Mm -hmm. And um, I eventually would come back after that for Madden, late Madden 15, I did a bunch of designs on Instagram. Uh, I saw I that. Sports designs. I actually saw that on your Instagram. Shit. I was lurking after you went live that one time and I got in contact with you. Mm -hmm. I was going down there and I seen some of that. Yeah, so I used to be pretty good at that. I kind of used that to, to restart my YouTube channel and kind of get a following because it's really tough to get off the ground. Mm -hmm. you, gotta, you gotta have something. And uh, so I use that to get some type of following and uh, really, I started taking YouTube more seriously through Madden 16 era, and then Madden 17, I kind of blew up. What was it? I started that... doing rebuilds. Oh, okay. Rebuilds. Yeah, I, in Madden 25, on my first channel, um, I kind of invented it, and it didn't really get any traction. But when I came back again in Madden, like late 15, early 16, rebuilds were an untapped market. Nobody did them. And uh, so I really boosted my channel up a ton. Damn. That's so I'm I turned into a mutt guy, or fr from a mutt guy into a franchise guy. Were you, where would you say like, ranking yourself in percent of like the top one percent and all that? Where would you put yourself in like competitive Madden if you were playing? <laughs> uh, I would, I'm definitely not very good at the game. Oh okay. Um, it, it's it's tough because. I really hate the ebook meta, and that's that's how you have to play if you're gonna be good. You have to, you know, run like cheese money plays and schemes and stuff. But I have mm -hmm. I have no problem with that. I get that that's always gonna be a thing. It's gonna happen, uh, but it's just not fun for me to play that way. Yeah. So I refuse to do that. I'll I'll play a few online games a year maybe. Oh okay. So you're mainly just, just you're on it for the rebuilds and the content. And all I'm that. on it for content creation. Okay. And I get it. Yeah. I mean that's the only reason I'm still playing MLB. So. I can definitely respect that. What? Who won? Oh, you did. My boy Rugnid. 
I, I got off to a slow start. <laughs> Let's run it back. All right, we can run it back. Is there a restart thing, or is it just... Okay, we'll just use the same guys. But, um, so what was the first... Like, what was the one video that just blew up? Was it just an overnight thing, or...? Um, the first one that really ever blew up for me, it was my freshman year of college, and uh, I was making videos pretty much out of my dorm at that time. I think this one was before I left for college. I had like 9,000 subscribers, maybe, something like that, and um, I uploaded my Cleveland Browns rebuild from Madden 17, and this video did like 180K, 200K views, like pretty quickly. Wow. And, um... That kind of got me more subscribers. And, and once you have a hit video that really does well, mm -hmm. it's really easy to build upon that. And, uh, um, and like, once you start going, like, it, it just builds upon each other. So you get more views and more views and views and more. Yeah. But the Cleveland Browns franchises and rebuilds uh, really help propel my channel to what it is today. Okay. I would I would not be where I am. That's not true, but... <laughs> Because it would have, if it wasn't the Browns, it would have been another team. Yeah, I'm, but, I'm in the lobby, by the way. All right, but uh, like, um, damn. What, what, what a uh, stadium? Uh, fucking cores. I don't think it matters though, right? If you join my I, queue, I, I see no. Oh, there we go. It said no friend lobbies oh, available okay. first. No, but um, oh my god, I thought we were using the same. Mike, of course. I would have used like Brandon Belt or something if I knew that. Hook him horns, Brandon Belt. <laughs> But, um, um, yeah, so the, the Browns being as shitty as they were helped my channel grow to be what it is today. Well, fuck. So, I, Browns. At least it worked for somebody. I I don't know if yeah, you can I, really do a rebuild this this year with how raw they are. Oh, I've already uploaded one. How did it you do? Kidding me? Uh, 100k already. Well, I, now now you're automatic, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting 50k views a video God. at the moment. And yeah i'll eventually not on not on the video but i want to talk to you about some of that stuff you know because i'm mm -hmm. truly interested it, like to me it's just so neat knowing that and like i'm i'm trying to climb myself there to like see the possibilities of it but as of my right, talk that's fucking garbage not to cut you off <laughs> i mean holy shit, I, it's dude. okay i'm not i'm i'm letting you get a chance to <laughs> i mean it is mike talkman bro <laughs> he's just he's just not he's lining out <laughs> I should have used Geo Ursula. All right, we got we got one out. But um, right, now, like if you were to give me like two tips on how to like keep consistent I progress. Just off in front of the fucking plate. <laughs> uh, biggest tips for YouTube about like, is it are you wanting consistency or are you got it? You want like tips to grow or what? I I I mean I would like to grow my audience, right? I would like okay. to provide myself with the stage to where I'm getting a lot of views, obviously. I fucking foul tip like four in a row. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Rugnit's going crazy now. Um, the biggest tip that no one really thinks about is that anyone can do YouTube. That's the thing. People are like, really? Me? Even me? Yeah, even you. Mm -hmm. anyone, anyone can do it. Yeah. The biggest tip I can give anybody is, first of all, try to be unique because nobody wants to watch the same old shit. Mm -hmm. That's just true. I mean, yeah, I, I got real big because I, I brought something new to the table, yep. but you, you have to be consistent. If you upload every day, and that's really what you should aim for, if you upload every single day, people will keep coming back and more and more people will keep coming back. Even if it's 40 views a video, which, you know, thank lucky for you, it's not because you have a, a following already, mm -hmm. but um, you have to upload. Okay. You have to upload. Because if you if you upload, you know, every every week, even once, that's a good start. But for our type of content, which is like video game stuff, mm -hmm. people are watching guys every day. And if you don't keep uploading, they're gonna find somebody that will. Okay. That's just what happens. Yeah. No, so it's not like some of these commentary style videos where once a week is fine, because um, it's a different audience. Yeah. You, not all YouTube channels are created equal. They really aren't. That makes sense. So different types of videos different types of content so just consistently um, uploading mm -hmm. god it's just so hard yeah. because of how much i work you know what i mean it's like i yeah. what i want to start doing is setting aside a day to record these videos edit them and then just schedule them to upload you know 
Yeah. But with it the, is tough to find the yeah, time. It's mostly tough because the game, it's so hard to stay motivated playing this game with the state it's in. Like just straight up. Like you know what I mean? It's it's really tough because I, I totally get it. With the uh, Madden last year, for the final six months of nineteen, I didn't upload the game. Oh really? I just figured I'll I'll do anything else. So for six months I stopped doing my main thing. Wow. And how did that go? I mean, were your views still pretty consistent? Um, I mean, I found other stuff to make it work. I just, I think, uh, and I don't want to sound like cocky or whatever, but I think, uh, especially because I've built up an audience at this point, is I have a core group that is going to pretty much come back no matter what. Mm -hmm. That's and, um, fucking so I, huge I, to have. I think in general, I am entertaining enough. Yeah. And I, I feel like I sound it's just like, I, it sounds so douchey. No, it, it really general, doesn't though, because you just know, you know your niche. You know what I mean? And I, I do think I'm entertaining enough to where people will will find anything I do entertaining. Will you do a I, Will you do a um, a can opening of a tuna? Just like a nice like. I think I think I could make that funny. I, I think you could too. I just think the idea <laughs> of you actually presenting a can of tuna and opening it and describing it, I mean, I would I'd probably sub. Not only sub, I'd probably repost <laughs> it and get some love on it. Maybe some we have. To I have on. I have privated videos on my channel that are kind of like what you're talking about right now. <laughs> I have two videos where I have it's how to light a match. No, you do uh, not. I, I do, I do, um, and I basically it's super super dry, and um, I'm so like so dry in it, like sarcastic, all that, oh. and eventually it ends with me using the the match is so stupid, and I use a lighter and I light the match with a lighter. <laughs> Oh my god! How long is this video? Maybe a minute. Oh. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty short. And then uh, I have another video where it's uh how to make pancakes, and it's me. It's like some of these are so stupid, but I go outside and I have these huge fucking mushrooms growing in my yard that look kind of like pancakes. <laughs> I brought them inside. Oh my god! I, I, I douse them in maple syrup. Do you eat so it? That, that's it. No, I don't need it. I'm gonna be sick, probably. Yeah, that's true. I don't think. But I, I, I pretend to, but I make it very obvious that I'm not, which I think is part of the bit. Yeah. So it's just complete satire that people hopefully get, yeah. and if they do get it, it'll be absolutely hilarious. And if they don't, it's gonna be a weird time. I'll link you a video on my second channel right now. It's from February 18th, 2018. It's I'd love me that. playing the pi It's me playing the p piano. It's 35 seconds long. I'll put it in my general chat. People can watch it if they like. Do you actually know how to play the piano? Uh, I, I used to a little bit, but this is this is not what that video is. <laughs> Very quickly. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the sense of what we're going to see. Let's see. Are you DMing it? Oh, you're putting it in your general. I put, I put it in the, in the disc room. Okay. okay. It's it's so stupid. You're fucking so tall. Yeah. I'm a lanky boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's the entire video. You're actually the worst person. <laughs> That's correct. You're right. You ain't wrong. <laughs> you just suck at it. <laughs> Yeah, like everything about that video is so weird. Like the, like the weird like soldier, it's like twist soldier walk. That yeah, I do. it's there's <laughs> it's just uncomfortable to watch. Yeah, and, and that's my goal. that's what makes it great. <laughs> that's what makes it amazing. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, people that have not followed Bengal or for somehow don't follow him, please go follow I'm him sure on YouTube. Plenty of people watching this won't. Cause yeah, it's different, and that's the idea. I mean, you got you you got MLB guys that'll hopefully go over and see the type of content that you can provide and i mean it's all fun i'm not a big madden guy but i watch bengal's videos i maybe watch them as a, like with a different purpose i'm watching him and trying to learn how he presents himself on on his videos and stuff because to me like you're one of like the pros when it comes to this youtube stuff you know what i mean like you've just well, been hey, doing it for so long and i see the success you've had and i see how much you've built your stuff up and it's like definitely admirable 
and watching your stuff and how you present yourself, whether it be how you start off your conversation with these guys or how you commentate it, it's definitely something not only I can learn from, but you guys watching, you guys can learn from if you plan on doing any type of content or if you just are trying to, I don't know, get involved in Madden, you know? So definitely shoot him a follow and a sub. I'll link his Twitch. He live streams MLB a lot. He live streams. Do you live stream Madden? Uh, very rarely. Okay. But he likes to dabble on MLB sometimes, so shoot him a follow there. I'll have all his info down, but definitely, definitely follow him on Twitter. You will not regret it. <laughs> Dude, I appreciate you coming by and having this last minute video with me. We had a good game. You almost fucking squeaked one out against me. But you wouldn't be able to live that one down. So. I, dude, you would be surprised how often I lose to people that I maybe shouldn't. It, it happens a lot. I don't even hide it anymore. You know, it just I just say, well, it's okay. You know, and I don't make excuses. But um, I hope we can do it again soon. I know you're really busy. I know you do a lot of fun stuff. So hopefully we can... What fun stuff do I do? Dude, you do a lot of fun I stuff. Do. You play the piano. Like, let's be real. <laughs> don't try to downplay your, your life, okay? You have an exciting life. Did, are you, did yeah, you find an apartment? Uh, I'm working on it. Okay. Working on it. I have some options. I'm excited about it. But fucking, my setup at my aunt's house at the moment is a uh, subpar. Oh really? Oh yeah. Well, I try, I'm trying to record videos here sometimes, but it's uh, it's interesting. Mhm. Mm yeah, I, I I get it because my situation isn't ideal right now. I'm. It's. It's weird when you are in an environment with people who do not understand what you're trying to do, do not kind of like vibe with what you're trying to do. It makes it a little more awkward and a little less like easy to do. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I totally get that. The one thing you can do to uh, change people's mind is keep growing. Yeah. That's the biggest thing because mm -hmm. once they see uh, they, like numbers and stuff rolling, they can't say anything, right? They, they, because I watch your video where you're talking about where, uh, like, if your dad had uh, seen you, like, with the Twitch stream and stuff, he would have shut it down. Mm -hmm. Just because he doesn't, like, understand it and stuff. Yeah. But now he's, like, one of your bigger supporters. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> that, like, that's cool. That makes me, that actually, like, shows me that you watched that video. Because I was, like. I don't, I don't remember which one it was. It was the Kiv one. Twin? Yeah, because. Kiv? Uh, yeah, I. Well. No, I watched, I watched Twin and Kiv fully. Yeah, it. it, it, it I. We talked. I talked about my personal life with both of them, so it could have been either. But yeah, I mean, I. That's... It was definitely Kiv. It was definitely Kiv because you guys were talking about, uh, like, both getting into it, and his like mom was not. That's right. With his. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, dude. That's a lot of shit could have went differently if I like started doing stuff at different times. But like you said, like, you can't deny results. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If they see that, they there's not much they can say. The reason I, I uh, quit doing YouTube in like 2013 or 2014 is because I wasn't allowed. I wasn't allowed. I wasn't allowed to fucking play video games. Oh really? That's what that was the yeah. speed bump there. Yep. And then uh, I broke. I didn't even talk about. It. I broke my nose my junior year of high school. I took a picture of the face playing baseball. And then I. I saw I quit, that. I quit baseball. I quit football. And um, I couldn't like my fucking face hurt all the time i couldn't breathe i couldn't smell Jeez. and i couldn't like i couldn't really exercise i couldn't like lift anything heavy for a while and that's probably why i'm so fucking skinny hey when uh, you get the chance now that you brought it up the broken nose uh, look at the video i quoted of mike perry on twitter oh my god you need to see his nose after the oh, fight today tonight was saturday yeah god i missed that yeah like <laughs> he lost split decision but actually you need to look at it oh nose. shit yeah my nose was uh probably a lot like that honestly was it that bad i took 80 to the fucking right to the oh, face oh man yeah it was a pitch dude <laughs> that i broke eight bones in my nose i deviated my septum oh my and God. I, I needed surgery the first surgery didn't work so it looked fine but I, I couldn't breathe out of my nose really at all on smell for three years. I had surgery this past November to fix it, and it's a little bit better now. Really? It's caused that many issues? Fuck, <laughs> dude. That's such a troll tweet. Dude, just put some ice on it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, that's that's what we do, right? I mean, that's what we need to do consistently. Yeah, I, how would I have phrased it? Like, hmm, I don't know, because that, that's a situation that's like, 
sensitive to me because I also had a fucking vicious. Oh, well, I mean, I'm obviously being sarcastic. I would no, no, I would faint I if I had that. I would literally pass yeah. out. I'm trying to think like what I would say to it if I had to say something like that along along those same lines. <laughs> I'm curious what like, you would uh, say too. You'd probably say something a little I, more like that can be taken a different way. You know what I mean? Like, I think I would probably say, "Damn, like that eye looks pretty swollen or something <laughs> like that," where I don't, I don't even notice like the obvious broken nose. Yeah, I know you would take some time and come up with a perfect one. Mine was so quick. I usually quick. don't. I just I just do fucking first thing that pops into my head. That's usually the funniest one. You know what I mean? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. There's times. There, I the ones I hate is when I I type out a funny tweet. And then like sometimes like one word can make the difference of it being even funnier. Oh, yeah. And then I look back oh, yeah. and I'm like, wait, did I use that word? And then I'll see that I did it and I'm just like, oh fuck. You know? It's all for the cloud. There are the two different things. Like one that but also what I hate is when I come up with a funny tweet off something mm -hmm. where it's directly related. And then I'll think of something funnier <laughs> right after. What am I gonna do? Two jokes? <laughs> yeah, you like, just can't. The one you thing? just can't. Yeah, yeah, you, so. you kind of just have to like hold it in your pocket and just use that same basis on another tweet. Like same pro same thought process on everything, you know, and it's just execute it differently. And that way you get to use that joke still, but it's not, it doesn't look like you were desperate for clout on that one, you know? Yeah, like I don't, I don't know if I do anything just for, like I don't know if I do that shit just to get attention because uh, I think I just do it to like make some people laugh. Mm -hmm that's what i like to do like just funny jokes or that if it's funny to me i think it could be funny to somebody else and i want to share yeah like, miley cyrus is trending right now trending in the usa yeah um, i've separated yeah with liam hemsworth so i could do a couple of different things there i could take a screenshot of where it says trending in the usa and i could uh oh this is actually kind of good i might screenshot that and and like do party and then asterisk like it's a correction. Oh yeah, party, party in the USA, USA by Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus song. You may not believe me when I say this, but that has always been one of my favorite songs. And not trolling. Like, I'll listen to it. All right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I, okay. if you don't want to talk to me again, that's fine. But, I mean, like, I like I like country music. So people always say not me for my music taste. Yeah, I, I I'm not a big so. fan of it. I'm not well, I, I mean, I get it. I, I think a lot of the thing it's like uh, with Nickelback, where people like they think they're geared to hate it, but like I think there's shitty country. I'm not crazy. I think there's some really country? god awful. No, no, but people uh, will hate Nickelback universally, cool. and I think it's because that's the that's the meta. Can it's cool to hate Nickelback? The internet why? hates Nickelback. Okay, I'm not going around buying Nickelback albums, but why do we yeah. have to? Are they that bad? I never thought they were that bad. No, I th I think like they get a lot of uh, like sh shit because uh, everyone's like this band sucks. <laughs> it's like the only thing you could really say is a lot of their songs kind of sound similar. They do, but I like a but, lot like, of them. Like, they're bangers. Yeah, they're bangers. exactly. Okay, I'm glad we've. That was kind yeah, of a thing where I was treading Nickelback lightly in case you were a Nickelback hater. You know what I mean? It's like no, N Nickelback unironically is good. Yeah, and I would listen to them, and I wouldn't be upset if they came. Thank on the you. Radio. That song, uh, I'm falling. I'm falling. You know what I'm talking about? Where it's a video and they have the timeline of when they're gonna die. I don't know if I know that. It's one, a fucking honestly. great song. It is. <laughs> I'm sure it, it is. really it's is. Nickelback. They're, they're good. The, Nickelback is good. I like a lot. Are they of top three of all time? Now that I really think about it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But they they are mm. good. <laughs> they are good. No, but someone got someone's already mad at my fucking Miley Cyrus party. You posted it already. Tweet. Oh, I had to. Okay, let's check this out. Someone responds with a gif. It's a, I was like, this isn't funny. It's like, what do you fucking know them? Who cares? <laughs> Part that is funny, you know? Wait, where is it? Where is the response? The first thing that popped in my head was, uh, like, quote tweeting saying, Alexa, play Party in the USA. Like, I thought that was kind of funny, too. But I was like, I thought this, this correction funny. was better. Yeah, okay. I mean, like, how do you respond with a meme like that? when the meme's even less funnier. The response is less funny. You know what I mean? It's like, if you're gonna put some one up the man. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna take up all of your time tonight, man. I had fun playing okay. you. I'm gonna go ahead and get some editing done before my trip. Me and my girl are going to Hawaii on Wednesday. So. Ooh. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, it's for her graduation. So I got a couple stuff Very I gotta cool. get done, but. 
I'm sure I'll talk to you very soon and I'm looking forward to getting this video up and letting everybody see it and yeah I appreciate you for coming man that sounds good thanks for having me yes sir we'll talk soon bye now yes sir